Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Martina. And to my regular viewers, welcome back. So guys, have you ever been scammed before with those online scammers? I wanted to do a video about this topic a little while now because I was watching a video from a guy called, I think is Pleasant Greens. I still have that video to, to upload, um, but now my experience, my personal experience has decided me to do this video. So let me get on with my story. Um, this, but it's not the first time I've been scammed, but um, well, I know what to look out for, so I haven't really gone through with the whole process of actually sending money and that sort of thing. Um, there was one time I was close to it, um, almost sent the money, but I just realized that, hey, this is money that I have, that I'm short on money, and I can't be sending money to people that I don't know, and I'm kind of skeptical about, so I was very close. So this, my today, actually, today, last week, my um, current um, experience is that I was going on, I was going through a Facebook group called BVI Community, Bo uh, BVI Community Board um, that I normally check and get um, advice and share things, right? Um, it's a reliable um, place to get information from any BVI, right? So I went online, I was just scrolling through and stuff and I saw this ad, um, this person is looking for um, pe people to do evaluations to them, different businesses and stuff to see if they're providing good business and stuff. So. I said okay why not so I sent a message and I got a response and everything and the person said it um, you know his name is Kelvin I think it's Kelvin Peterson or something like that let me check my phone to see his actual name so I can tell you but even if I tell you the name these guys change their names and change the images on their profile and stuff so let me see he's not consistent Anyways, Kelvin something, I think it's Peterson or something like that. Anyway, and the image is of a white guy, Caucasian guy, and no problem. So, um, he said, that, um, okay, what you will have to do is like go to different businesses and stuff and um, do an evaluation and get back to them, right? Send them the review and evaluation. They will send, send me the money up front, um, all the different costs to go, go and do the evaluation, maybe go to a restaurant or wherever they send me to. So whatever expenses I may have to incur, they will send me that money in advance. I will go do the evaluation and get back to them and then they will pay me. Um, the fee was between $150 and $200 per evaluation. So initially it sounded good, but the red flags didn't um, come up then. So the, the, the what they sent me, the email sounded okay. I said, okay, let me, this sounds good. I could try this. I could kind of like get my life back in order, pay some bills, things like that. So. And then eventually he started to communicate. He did have sent me a few emails, about two or three. I think I still have them. I wanted to keep them safe because, you know, it, I just wanted to do this video because I was monitoring this person. I said, you know, something is up. So, and then he started to communicate now on WhatsApp. No problem. And then he said, but the strange thing about it is was, he said, oh, you keep asking me. He wanted me to work right away. Like, okay, okay you asked me, um, can you work now? I said, well, I can't do now. Just let me know in advance so I can plan my day. I like to know, okay, if he tell me like on Monday, I have to go on Wednesday, I, I could work with that, I could plan my day. But he wanted me to work like he would contact me now and go now. That was a red flag, right? And then on the WhatsApp message now, when he started now, he was more focusing on sending money to me. I, I had to open my account with First Bank. I went and did that last week, I think um, Friday, I opened the account. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I had a account with them way back. Um, it was dormant because it opened the account and everything. So I opened the account and deposited my money into the account and everything. So, so I gave him the information about my account. So he was, no, I think I did it before that. Because the last information I heard from him was on Friday. He was supposed to give me information now on, for my evaluation. And I was waiting on him to get back to me so I could plan my business, I could plan my day. So the whole, from that Friday, the whole weekend, um, every day passed. He's messaging me right now, I'll tell you why. So, <coughs> I didn't hear from him Saturday, Sunday, Monday, today's, today's what, Wednesday? I have, I, and today, he's messaging me, right? Um, let me get back to what I was saying before. He wanted me to, like, he will give me the message information now. He wants to he say you're sending money to me now, and he wanted me to go to the bank now, right? So, I live east end. I mean, it's not far for me to go, but, like, again, like I said, I like to go to plan my business. I like to go to town early, get my stuff done, and come back home, right? So, but he was, so I said, okay, you want me to go and do this stuff now? Okay, where am I going? What do I have to do? But he was mostly focusing on me getting the money. So that was another red flag too. I mean, tell me what it's about. I had to collect the money, yes. 
or what do I have to do? Tell me all these things in a package. Don't give me a piece of information here, a piece of information there. So I said, okay, I left it as that. But like I said, the last time I heard from him was Friday. Today, all of a sudden now, and, and he has a new number today, right? A different number today. And I think a different profile picture too. He said, um, hi, this is Kelvin. And he just gave me the information. I sent the money to you, so and so and so. And um, he wants me to send money to Western Union and MoneyGram. That's my job. So I said, okay, fine. But then he said, um, so I said, well, what about the, the review and evaluation? And he said, um, then he said, okay, you're going to review how people service you at these different offices, uh, Western Union and MoneyGram. So I said, where am I going to send the review? I had to ask him this information. He said, it, um, send it to him on WhatsApp or on the email when he first sent me, right? I said, okay. So I said, you know what? Send money to, they keep telling, people keep telling you, don't send money up to via Western Union to people you don't know. They keep telling you that. And so my last experience, um, I had been sending some money to a friend in Trinidad and um, I had to fill out a form. Right, it's quite embarrassing because I'm from Trinidad, and Trinidad is a country that they have a whole list of the advice you not to send money to these different countries, and Trinidad and Tobago is on that list. <laughs> That's where I'm from, like I said, right? So um, uh, I was I'm aware of that. There are certain countries that they blacklist that not to advise you not to send money to, right? So like I said, I had to fill out a form. So I. Again. <laughs> okay, so back to the story. So he contacted me today. He said, um, Can you go to the bank now? I said, Okay. I just said that so because it was around. Uh, let's say about 2 30 right my husband has my car so I didn't really I don't like to go into town not do that type of hours so I just told him yes for soon so I went online I said let me do some research and stuff and um, I didn't really get much information about his type of I would say it's a scam at this point um, because they'll tell the people were saying that um, they'll give you a check and most likely check will bounce what he did was he deposited money to my account right I went online set up my account and he did deposit money to my account right um, but the thing I don't like is sending money to people I don't know via Western Union, right? And then they be using my ID card because when you send money and stuff, they will ask you for your ID card and stuff. So my name is there, um, you know, printed off for transaction to somebody that I don't know about. Um, so I'm very skeptical. So he has been calling me. Um, I haven't been answering, right? Um, because I don't think I will, I will continue with this. Um, how he's gonna get back his money? That's his problem. Let him figure it out, right? But um, I don't know. So I just want to let you know these about these guys, um, about these scammers. Um, what to expect? I wanna keep you posted um, about this. What's gonna happen? Um, yeah. So like, let me just do a summary. Um, I tried to. This is like an online job offer that he had online to do reviews and stuff business reviews that's what he said and they will pay you $150 to $200 per review um, and also to they will send you the all the expenses that will incur in advance so you can go and do the review and you'll get paid after right so he as of now he sent me some money today I wanted me to go and get the money today and do the, do the review and he's hustling me now um, when he did send me all the information he asked me um, are you going to the bank now so I said yes and then he asked me, are you there yet? Things like that, you know, and it, it, it's not nice. <laughs> so right away I know it's a scam. And you know, I forgot to mention this too. Once he called me, I answered the phone. And his voice, of it sounds like Nigerian. It's not the first time I heard um, the voice. It's the voice sound familiar. Because there was a, another situation years back, a little while back, like I mentioned before, this is not my first time. And I spoke to one of them and um, this voice sounds familiar, right? Um, I don't know why, it sounds familiar and it sounds Nigerian, right? So, yeah. So, I'll keep you posted how this goes. If you have any experience, let me know. And also, too, for you to be aware of things like that. Um, this is my share of it. 
um, to be aware of things like that, you know, don't send him money. I mean, this time here for me, I'm not sending money. I know not to send money up front because um, there are different people with lotteries and there are people with um, low scammers or if they, um, if you want you to get money fast, like you send a hundred dollars and you get like two thousand dollars within minutes, things like that. I would not do things like that. This one is different. He sent me money in advance and not a check. He sent me the money is because it's my account. But still, sending money to somebody I don't know, and I will have to check to see if the country that I have to send this money to, if it's if it's shortlisted. Um, so that my tool is a list of countries that. Western Union has not to send money to. I have to check and see the country that you want me to send money to if it's on that list too as well. So I'll keep you posted and be on the lookout for things like this. And this is my input on this online scammers um, that is going on now. Well, I mean, I'll be going on for a little while just for people to be aware. And they, uh, as far as, as time goes along, they change their techniques and stuff. They do things differently because, you know, um, uh, people are checking up on them, people are reporting and stuff, so they're doing things differently. And uh, what I want to say to, like I said, the last time I heard from him was on Friday. And um, today I hear from him with a, with a different number. I suspect that something may have happened. Maybe maybe somebody reported him on the previous number, so he had to close up that number and get a new number. So he's not contacting me, hustling me to get um, this money sent to whoever. So I don't know how we could do this transfer thing, if that's legal, I don't know, but I'm not going any further with this. Alright, this is my story for today, this is my sharing on this topic. If you have anything to share, leave it in the comment section below, and maybe I'll do a follow-up one day. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, take care, bye-bye.